R A M. Happy New uh, Year. Uh, R A M. Happy New Year. Uh, R A M. R A M. Last one of 2013. Brandy. A real. A real. Brandy. A real. A real. A real. Happy New Year. You gotta get angry. You better worship. No, that was worship. That's good. The year is coming to a close. And what a wondrous year it has been. Well, we hope it's been for you. It's been blessed for us. Yes. Uh, this year we started the Ram Show. We did. How exciting is that? And it's been a wonderful, beautiful journey. And the best is yet to come. Come on, somebody. Yes. Check it out, though. Check it out. So this is our countdown of 10 things we believe should stay in 2013. In 2013. Leave it there. Roll them. 10. Literally, I need a moment of silence. Number one, we're going from least important to most important. So let's just start with the yes, down right. to the basics. Least important. Miley Cyrus's twerking antics. Just stop. It's okay. You don't have a butt. You can't twerk without a butt. Uh, that's her new brand. I'm not here for it. I'm over it, so leave it there. Nine. Nine. Christopher Brown. I gotta call him by his full name because I really love his gift. We just want you to do better, sir. This anger that is in you. Leave it. Leave it at the door. Leave it in 2013. Your gift is amazing. Like, just... Find your happy place. Talk to the Lord. Just leave your anger right there on the altar. Just, uh, just leave it. You'll be a better person for it. Yes. Don't know what you're angry about. Don't really want to get into your business. So, have fun in 2014. Yes. Have a happy place. Find your happy place. Don't bring that anger up in there. Just like mine, China. Eight. Celebrity Twitter beef. Stop. Just end it. Listen, listen. You're making yourself look foolish in front of your fans, your peers, and media. Twitter is not the place for you to hash it out with your arch enemy who's also a celebrity or your fans who may be attacking you. I know it's difficult. Block them. All the attention is going to go to you, not the fan that was attacking you. I cannot believe so and so insulted her fan like this. And that's what they're going to say. But you just fuel the fire. Right. I mean, people are going to talk about you all day long. Why are you responding back? And then you're mad that you get uh, lose your endorsements or all that kind of stuff Boom. because you're having arguments. Nobody has the time. You're losing coins, y'all. Not we worth it. We don't agree with losing money. <laughs> Not Especially worth over it. something that you did with your fingers. Bye, cyber thugs. Seven. Seven. Brother Kanye. <laughs> I just, I want you to find a better way to express yourself. All these rants, and half the time people don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're a rapper, you're great with words. Find a better way to express yourself that is less angry, less on the defensive. It's okay to feel the way you feel. You're entitled, those are your feelings. You're yes, to those. but find a better way. So we know we don't have all the answers. You don't have to yell at us. You don't have to yell. We, we don't, don't have, have all the answers. But guess what? Neither do you. Boom. When you start to rant and go into this uncomfortable space <laughs> that makes everyone else around you confused Ooh. and uncomfortable because they're not sure what you're talking about and why. <laughs> and on top of that, you say some things that can be very um, insulting. Insulting. I'm the next, I'm the new, da 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 da. And then yelling at people. Leave it in 2013. Leave it there, Kanye. Trying to help you, bro. Six. Six. Complacency. We've all been guilty of it. Let's yeah. just be clear. We want to leave that at the door. Um, you never want to get settled in where you are. There's always growth to be had, progress to be made. So if you felt complacent at any moment in 2013, let's leave that feeling there. Nip that right there in the butt. You should never get comfortable with anything in life. Because mm -hmm. if you get comfortable, somebody's going to step right over you, get to the spot where you thought you wanted to be. Somebody will take your seat, y'all. You should always be working on yourself. 
trying to do better, be better. Because if you think you know everything and you've done everything you need to be doing, there are people who are 175 who say, I still want to learn something. Mm. There's you always... Know, did you just say somebody was 175? 175. Sure did. <laughs> we don't know them, but they exist. In heaven. <laughs> like, what? Anyway, there's always something to be learned. Nothing is even in an older age. Yes, there's still something to learn, a way to grow, something. You should never be comfortable in that space. Make it happen, Captain. Don't stay where you are. You deserve better. That goes for relationships too. Shade. Five. This has to stay in 2013. <laughs> it has to. All these keep calm memes. Am I saying it right? Mean. Mm -hmm. Memes. Leave them. I think we just we we did all the that we need to do. I think there's nothing left. Keep calm, carry on. That was the great one that started. It was like, okay, yeah. And then they changed it. Keep calm and date an Aquarius. Keep calm. Wore it out. Tie your shoes. Keep calm, Keep calm and marry a Spelmanite. I agree. I agree. However, but that's not the point. <laughs> okay, that no. Keep calm. Call your mom. Keep calm. Okay, I'm done keeping Stop. calm. I'm done keeping calm. Just. I can't keep calm. It's 2014. That that's gonna be the last one. That's what, and that better be the last <laughs> one. You hear me? Done. Finito. Four. I just feel like there's so the news is an important facet, sure. Mm -hmm. But there's so much negativity all the time. Why can't we say something good? Someone just rescued a dog down the street. And then they got hit by a car, and then people died, and then there was an avalanche, and there's nothing good to say. There's always something good, y'all. I feel like every time I turn on the news, it's something horrible. You know, we know that we can't completely leave bad news in 2013 right. because there's always going to be new stories developing and happening. But we're, media, can you just balance it out? There, there are a lot of young people in our generation who are doing lots of positive things. Yes. People of all ages, but I'm saying... It seems like a lot of the reports on young people can be very negative and everything that we're doing wrong. And, but there are a lot of people doing some good out and there. Inventing things. Yeah, could you just balance it out? Graduating from college at 13, like things right. are happening. Can we not talk about all of the blood loss and how someone broke into this house that we know nothing about? And right. where is the happy medium? Right. Don't depress me while I'm eating my dinner. Jeez. Leave it. Leave it. Three. Almost there. I hope you feel my evil glare. Okay. So, I know our three was probably exciting, but this is not good. Racism. Okay, so here's the thing. You should have left it in the 1960s. You should have never picked it up. Right. How about that? But since it was there, we should have left it there. However, comma, uh, and even before the 1960s, you know, whatever. Uh, there's been this new wave, though, yes. of racism taking place a lot on like social media with Vine and Twitter. Lots of little shades. Some of it's micro racism. You know, people doing things that they think is like cool and they think they can get away with it because it's on the internet. And no, no, it's not funny. It's not. No. You should never think that racism is funny, first of all. But when it comes down to this new age thing that we have going on now with reliving blackface and thinking that that's funny and, you know, even these murder cases that have come out and people are like, oh, it's just an accident or mm -hmm. it's, it's an over, it's, it keeps happening over and over again. This is not by coincidence. It should never have started anyway, but this mm -hmm. new wave, oh, it's going to stop. It has to. It's not funny. It's not cool. I don't know who told you that. Bye. End it. Two. Two. Poor people have to stay in 2013. Now, now somebody is confused at this point. Somebody's upset. upset. They're reading. We're not. Somebody's upset and let me explain what I mean. Poor people have to stay in 2013. What do I mean by poor people? If you're poor in spirit, you're poor. People that just don't have any any type of positive anything inside them, no type of self-worth. That If you're poor in spirit, you have nothing. Some people are so poor that all they have is money. And those are the people that we're talking about today. 
Stay in 2013 with your unhappy poor self. Unhappy poor self. Because if you're not going to enhance my life and bring something uplifting to, like, you're poor. You're poor in spirit. You're poor. You can do nothing for me. I can do nothing for you because you obviously want to stay where you are. Goes back to complacency. I concur. <gasps> one. 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 Really? One. Negativity will sneak into your life and then take different faces and make you think you're not worth anything, make you think that you can't do anything, mm -hmm. that you're not going to succeed, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you have a negative outlook, it makes everything look dark. Just switching that over really does wonders for the human mind, for humanity, for everyone. If you're feeling negative, don't put on someone else. When you're negative, you don't get any further than what you can see. Yep, and that, that's not okay. That's good. Shift your perspective. It will change. It will change your life. Like I'm reading, myself. right? I'm reading a book right now, and it said the fastest way that we can change the world is when we change our perception of the world. That's how you change the world. So you have to shift out of these negative thoughts, all these, all this doubt and all this uncertainty. Just Trust your journey. Trust your God, whoever you believe in, whoever you pray to. Trust and believe in that. Like, you have to dwell from a positive place. You have to operate from your higher self, not your lower self. Oh, yeah. Because we both have, we all have both sides. You have to operate from up here. Get it together. Trying to help you. Trying to learn you. You're going to learn today. So those are the top 10 things we think should stay in 2013. If you have anything to add, please share it with us at Ramshow Tweets or at our email, theramshow at gmail.com. We will see you guys in the new year. We are taking next week off. We're taking a break. We deserve it. You try to. We deserve it, y'all. But we'll be back the following week with a new episode, new Ramshow, new year. Woo! As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And take this time, this brief hiatus, um, we're only gone for a week. Scandal's gone for 10. Get your life. Uh, <laughs> take this time to catch up on the Ram Show. Have a great yes. new year. If you have any downtime, share it with your family, friends, and just spread the word because we're trying to come yes. back bigger and better in the new year. So we'll see you in 2014. Holla! Hey. Well, hello! Don't let that happen again. <laughs> What are you doing? What's my song? One. Because you might win one, some, but you just lost one. one. You, you might win some, but you just lost one. You might win some, but you really lost one. My baby is a 10. He dressed into a 9. He picked me up. We ate. Made me feel so lucky. 7. He kissed me in his 6. No. That was so hood reddish. These confetti fingers. We be making love at five, still the one I go to four. I'm trying to make us three from the two, still the one. Send in the clock, the clown. Send in clock, sit. That's not. He's a place. And so on. You have to kiss somebody in a minute. Okay. Okay.